Let's take a look at adding a parameter and an action to turn this block into a dynamic block. Actions like Array, Stretch, and Scale define how a dynamic block will move or change. First, I'll select a block, right-click, and select Block Editor. From the Parameters tab, I'll select XY. Using an Endpoint Object Snap, I'll select the lower left corner as the base point and the upper right corner as the endpoint. This adds a parameter to both the X and Y axis of this block. By default, a grip has been added to each corner of the block. I only need one grip, so I'll select the parameter, right-click, and set Grip Display to 1. Now that I've defined a parameter, I'll add an action. From the Actions tab, I'll select Array and select the XY parameter for the action. Next, I'll select the geometry I want to include for the Array action and press Enter. I'll specify the distance between rows as 19 and press Enter, and the distance between columns as 43 and press Enter. Finally, I'll close the block editor and save the changes I made. By adding a parameter and an action to this block, I created a dynamic block. Now when I drag the grip, I create an array of objects.